the biggest problem you have when expanding to a new market is strategy. It was something I just heard on LinkedIn. There are the top word on LinkedIn as like a title is something, something strategist. It was in the top 10 at least. Very popular. On the other hand, the word executing or, you know, doing something, that type of words were like down in the 10,000s. So, but it's because strategy is easy. It's easy to think. It, it's nice to think. We, most of us, I, I think business people, well, I'm thinking is nice. We like thinking. Um, especially if you're an engineer or a scientist as well, like we do a lot of thinking. But that's the problem when trying to expand abroad is that you can't think your way to solving this problem. That's, for example, I've, I've said in the past that using these uh, market surveys are a complete waste of time, a waste of money if you have to pay for it. Because there's so you can gain so very little from doing some strategy of understanding the market and stuff like this. Basically, your intuition will take you really far. Some desktop research, checking on what's going on in the target market, makes some sense. Do some keyword search. Like There are some things you can do that you should check, but we're talking about a week work, week of work tops, not much more. So your problem is you want to do a strategy. Your problem is you want, you're overthinking it. How you solve this problem and how to expand abroad is to do experimentation. You have an idea of who you want to target, who you want to sell to, because it's worked already in Finland. So now you're thinking, okay, I'm selling here in Finland. It kind of works like this. And we want to sell abroad. So we keep the Finnish sales on going, but now we want to go abroad. Some similar customer to you have in Finland is going to buy from another country. Now, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be a lot of differences. It's going to be a lot of problems to make that work. Otherwise, if expanding abroad was easy, everybody would do it. So there are things that are going to be difficult, but strategy is not really like thinking about the strategy is not too much. The strategy, it's, ba it's easy. Thinking who, who, who is our customer in Finland is probably the same in this other country. Do some basic checking in English if you can and in the target language if you can that as well. You use that to understand, who you, who, uh, to understand some more and then you do sales. That's basically how this works. And what we do in Euroscalers to help you this process is that we know how to do the strategy really well because I've done it now with over 70 companies. So that's one thing we do. We also help you with this initial check. So we will get the people, uh, we'll get the certain market that you want to sell to that you think is good. We will explore that. Also, because I've been doing this so much, I have insights into other markets. So I might say, you know what, giving your product, maybe we should consider looking at this market number two and number three as well to see if they're interesting. We do an initial check using the target language to understand what's going on here. We, we, find a key, we find key opinion leaders in this area. We find who the key players are, competitors. And we try to see, co based on what you usually do in Finland and what you've told us, we try to see what type of companies could be interested in this. But this is just an, issue, an initial check. We, and then we have to check back with you. Does this make sense? Probably there got to be some debate and discussion. We got to just get some basic information out there so we know kind of what we're doing.